So we've learned how to create and add a custom code step to our workflows. Next, we're going to cover how to use data from prior steps in these custom code steps. So in this scenario, I've set a brand new HTTP webhook to listen to incoming events on our workflow. And I've added a query parameter to the end of the normal URL to access this HTTP endpoint with just the key of lesson and a value of passing data in Node.js steps, which is this particular lesson. Next, I'm going to add a Google spreadsheet just to show you how a pre-built action can consume the data exported from our HTTP webhook. So the value inserted into this test sheet will be the trigger event query lesson, which contains the current lesson that I passed as a query param, and then we'll test it. So just a refresher, whenever you test a step or a step is executed in production, it will add that data it produced to its exports. So if we look under this results panel, you'll see the exports section shows the data that returned from the Google API when we inserted this value into the sheet. So that covers how to use exported data in a pre-built action. Let's move on to adding a Node.js step so we can do the same process with Node in code instead of with a pre-built action. So I've added a new step. I'm going to select Node and just run Node code. At the very top, you'll see the run component and it's passed a steps variable. The steps variable contains all of the step exports from all of your steps prior to this Node.js step in the workflow. For example, let's console.log the steps. Well, let's console log the exact value we used in the pre-built action. So we can go ahead and just copy the path and inject it into our code. We'll put it right here in the console log area. So we're using that steps object. We're accessing the very first step, which is called the trigger. See the name trigger corresponds with the name under the steps object. And then within the trigger, there was an event. And within that event, there was a query parameter called lesson. So when we test this, we should be able to access the same exact data that we used in our Google Spreadsheets action to inject this particular query parameter into our Google Spreadsheet. And if we look in the logs section of this results panel in the Node.js code step, sure enough, we see past data in Node.js steps. Here's how we can access prior data exported from other steps, including the trigger, into our Node.js steps. Now in future videos, I'm going to teach you how you can use props to inject these values instead of using the steps variable directly. This will allow you to make these fancy UI fields that you see in pre-built actions, but in your Node.js code steps.